Hey coach, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be helping you with sibling discounts. Now something I get asked on a regular basis is coaches reach out to me, out to me and say, Leo, eh, how do I create a sibling discount for my customers? So in this video, I'm going to be answering that question. I'm going to be showing you how you can implement a sibling discount for either one-on-one -on -one training, for group training, for camps, for clinics, and for whatever type of service that you offer within your soccer training business so that you can uh, attract essentially more siblings, offer them a discount, and then as a result, then have them refer other like-minded clients into your program so you can grow and scale to the next level. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all my latest content. Welcome back to the video coach. So today, sibling discounts, right? So this is something that I get asked on a regular basis. A lot of coaches reach out to me and say, Leo, how can I implement a sibling discount into my one-to-one -one business, into my group training? Um, or if you're running camps and clinics, how can I implement it or create one uh, so I can offer it to customers? So I break this down into four very simple steps. And these are steps that I used when I started my business. These are steps that I use with coaches that I work with, that are looking to grow and scale to the next level. Um, and I want you to basically take these four steps I'm about to share with you today, implement them, but also adjust them to your business as well. Okay, so the first one, is discount amount right so when we talk about a sibling discount essentially what we talk about is right what is the amount that you can offer to customers to be able to join your your training program something i would do if i was you i would sit down get a pen and paper and write down what financial sense it makes for you to offer a discount Right now, at the beginning stages of your business, sometimes it might not be advisable to offer a discount. Right, a lot of people are looking at me and probably thinking you're nuts. Right, but if you've got, if you're renting or hiring a facility to run your sessions, okay, and you're you're charging a discount to that that client, essentially you're not really going to be profiting or making any money on that session. Now, if that's something you don't mind, and if it's something that you're looking at short-term losses for long-term gain, then that's completely fine uh, by me if you want to do that, okay? Some coaches that I work with at the beginning stages, they don't offer any type of discount, okay? All they do is they adjust their price based on, um, on how many clients they have at the beginning, okay? So if it's you, you can offer a discount straight away or after you get over a certain amount of clients, then you can start to implement a friend referrals or sibling discounts. Right. The next one is eligibility. OK, so when I think about sibling discounts, right, who is eligible for that discount okay now you might be thinking right well obviously it's brothers or sisters okay now that's fine but just make sure that when you advertise these discounts that you do uh, the correct way okay so when a parent signs up their child okay and this this is the way I did it at the beginning so when the first player joins my program the parent pays full price any parent of that same child who brings a brother or sister and they join and they pay full price then what we do is we offer them a discount off the signing on fee okay so if for example mrs jones brings little johnny to my program 
Uh, Mrs. Jones pays $50, say, to join the program. Okay, and I decide, you know what? I'm going to offer a, a discount to Mrs. Jones if little Johnny's little brother joins the program as well. Okay, and depending on how good of a customer they are, okay, you might offer a higher discount, right? So say, for example, Mrs. Jones then says, right, uh, Johnny's little brother, uh, Sam wants to join the academy as well. Uh, how much is it, right? So Mrs. Jones will contact you and then you say, right, because Johnny has already joined, because you've paid full price, I can offer now uh, Johnny's brother 50% off if they join, okay? Now, this 50%, you can do it for the first month. You can do it on a recurring basis. Now, what I did is I did it on a recurring basement. So essentially what I did is I set it up on the, so the, the online billing software that I had at the time. Okay. And I set that up so that that goes out automatically. Okay. Some coaches I work with, what they do is they offer the discount for the first month and then the second, third, fourth, and and whatever the duration of that client's commitment is, uh, they pay a normal normal price. So the, the sibling discount only uh, is for the first, second or third month that they are in the program, okay? You can do it whatever way you want, but make sure that you are clear on what the eligibility is for that discount, right? Okay, and essentially you can do it for bring a friend as well. If Johnny brings a friend to the program, you offer them a 25, 50%, 75% discount uh, once they join. Okay, so that's the second one. Third one is communicate the discount, right? Now, so I'll go through a very simple step. So when Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones jo joins my program, okay, what I say to her Okay, once we go through the onboarding uh, process and once we get them re get her registered, I will say to them, uh, Mrs. Jones, do you have a brother or a friend or a another sibling that would like to join the program as well? So if Mrs. Jones says, yeah, we've got, um, Johnny's got a younger brother, uh, he's 10 years old, he's, he might be interested in joining what I would then move on to say is, okay, perfect. If uh, Johnny's younger brother was to join by this date, what I can do for you, because you guys have now registered, you're, you're a member of the program, I can offer your second child a 50% discount if they join before this date. Now, they can join after this date if they want, but they won't have the discount in place that I'm offering at the moment. So what that does is it gets Mrs. Jones to take uh, take action, to implement, and also to think to herself, right, if I don't sign up Johnny's little brother now, then essentially if he turns around and says, mom, I want to do the program or I want to join Leo's Academy, uh, after that date, it's going to cost Mrs. Jones more money. Okay, so being very clear, and what I normally do is I normally do all of this when I onboard a customer. So when a customer is going through the registration process with me to join my academy, this is when I will communicate all of uh, the offers, discounts that we have in place so that they are aware of it and that they can take action to take full advantage of uh, the discounts, right? So that's the third one. Okay, communicate it to the parent, right? And then the fourth one is essentially monitor and evaluate how those discounts are going, okay? So what I would recommend is for you, when you start your business or you're in the growth stages of your business, have a number of discounts or offers that you can offer to current customers and see which one is working best. If there is one that's not working, and maybe we adjust it, we change it. If there's one that's working, then as I always say to people, if it's working, then don't, don't change it, right? It doesn't need fixing, okay? So have two or three or maybe four offers that you can offer to, to parents when they join your program, 
when they're on board it on board on boarding okay so it might be an offer of a discount to an upcoming camp it could be a sibling discount it could be a bring a friend discount and then go through all the discounts to that onboarding customer and then just see which one uh, parents are taking most advantage of and then if there's one that's maybe not working for for whatever reason then we change it we adjust it and we try to make it uh, better okay if you need more help visit the description below if you want to uh, schedule a call with me if you want to contact me via my whatsapp number it's in the description as well and if you haven't yet make sure you like subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content